This was A level class number six we started with a little bit. We did some mess arounds today. So mess around, count one, we're gonna get our feet out underneath our hips. We're gonna bend our knees and bounce. And then we're gonna take our hips around in a circle. It doesn't really matter which way you go. You can go whichever way you want. And then you can do whatever you want with your arms. So the, the few things we had are just like having them kind of out and relaxed, or you could do this uh, with like you're shaking water off of your hands, or you can put your hands on your hips. And we use this for eight counts in between our turning exercise. So we went one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, mess around, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we went right back into our turns after that. So eight counts of mess around, eight counts for each uh, turning exercise in between. Then we worked on swing outs from open position to open position tonight. So it looked like this. You've already done the components of this in previous classes. We're just kind of putting it together. So we've got one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Some of the points here, um, Lee's just making sure you're stepping back on count one, but you don't want to step one, two. It's too far for the follow to go. So you want to think about one and kind of collecting your footwork underneath you. So a one, two, three, and four, five. Then on that count five, we talked about leads as a solo exercise you could do um, over here. One, two, oh, let's start this way actually. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to step on count five the direction you want your partner to go. Kind of think of pivoting off of that count five. So in practice, it looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I put the other way so they can see the five a little better? A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. It keeps the momentum of the swing out going, kind of collects the follows momentum, sends it back out. Follows? Yeah, follows. Um, you're gonna try and keep this nice and linear. So you've gone all the way out till you have this tense stretch. When the lead takes a step back, you are gonna feel that and take that step forward. We did this little exercise again today that we practiced before, um, having relaxed arms and then waiting for the leads to get to a point where it feels like you have to take a step in order to keep your body all stacked up on top of each other. So we're not letting our shoulders go first we're taking our whole body forward. So you wanna wait for that feeling when you're in this open position too, before you take a step. You don't have to take a big step um, and just go straight forward. Your lead will get out of the way. Um, stay square to them the whole time. And then the second half of it is just like your swing out from close. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and four. You stay square and go all the way out to the end of your rope. Then we did, um, we kind of combined things we've been working on the last few weeks. We did three swing outs in a circle, which is four eight counts, which is often a phrase of music and the music we listen to. Three and four, so from close to open, then we did one, two, three, and four, another swing out, open to open. We did it again. And then we did a lengthy circle. Wrapped it on up, and then we did it again. We just kept repeating that idea. Um, so we're thinking about small steps right underneath us, keeping that nice, easy rhythm going, um, and then just thinking about sort of keeping the flow and dynamics of the swing out going. You guys have been very patient. It's hard to piece this together when you haven't done it before, but I think it's coming along. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Next week we're gonna do for the last class um, just a few little variations on your swing outs. I think you're really gonna enjoy it, yeah. so. It's gonna be good. Don't miss it. Okay. Good job, you guys.